Hello, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Breath of Life family, what's up? YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. What's going on? May God bless you all this evening. As you all know, this is your friend, your pastor, best of life, all the way from Providence, Rhode Island. As you shall bring in a word to you again, the Lord has laid this word on my heart again to, to put more emphasis on it and to actually expound on the word to bring about clarification and understanding of what he's really trying to say. Some people don't get it. Some people really didn't get what I said in my first series. If you go on TikTok, you will see. If you go on Instagram, you'll see. If you go on my WhatsApp page, prayer page, you will see it is there you guys didn't get a whole pick of what actually the Lord was trying to say but I'm gonna do a, a this is the second part so you can't stop me now I'm sorry y'all forget forgive me the light I'm driving and so I, I can't turn the light on right now I'm sorry but God is to be glorified and God is to be uh, giving honor he's to be a uh, worship he's to be a door he is the center of everything that we do at breath of life prayer and intercessory ministry incorporated he is the reason why we are still here you can stop me now i want you to tell somebody this this morning this evening this afternoon wherever it is that you uh, find yourself listening to this broadcast i just want you to tap on that person or either call somebody and tell them they can stop me now and they might be asking you but what are you talking about tell them again they tried to stop me not now ah! They can stop me now. When they were planning their evil works against my life, God showed me. And this is why we must know the word in order for us to apply the word to the wickedness that the enemy would do to us. Oh, Rabbis, ayah, Rabbis. The Bible says, Isaiah 58, 17. Ikede shatter. Isaiah 58 17 no weapon faction against your life shall prosper in the name of Jesus no weapon now these things that were happening in our lives were weapons that were carved out by the devil and he had carved out so good that he made the people that were doing these things to us made them look like friends made them look like family members that were really that really loved you made them look like a uh, a uh, 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 someone that was extremely close to you but they were really a set up from the enemy to destroy your life to castigate your life to put you down to have you going a different road that god has ordered for you but the bible said the steps of a good man hello hello everybody the steps of a good man is ordered by god you see you try to kill the person you try to hinder the progress you try to stop things that was going on in their life knowing that's the direction that god was taking them and you try your very best to make sure that you will handle this person and you will handle the progress you will handle whatever it is that's going on in that life but God said not so you can't stop her now you can't stop him now you can't stop my child now because I have a plan come on tell somebody this morning God said he has a plan because I have a plan and the plan I have for his life and the plan I has for her life is good and not evil to give them an expectant end a good end a good end a good end Jeremiah 29 11 says the the plans that I have for you, daughter, son, is good and not evil. So give you an expected end. Oh, that's why he told Job. After Job's friends have deceived him, after they have said all kinds of things to him, and at the end of the day, uh, Job friends came, and, and the Lord said, "You go and you apologize to, to 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 Job for all the negativity you guys have said to him." And what happened? The Lord told Job. They apologized to Job, but the Lord told Job. Job said to his friends, Don't they slay me. Yet shall I praise him. Uh, no matter what you bring my way, you can't stop me now. No matter how you gossip about me, you can't stop me now. My roots are not just on the outside anymore. My root is embedded within Christ. My roots now it has taken stems and roots now within the, the Lord. I'm mature now to know who are who is for me and who is not 
for me. Ah, oh, come on, somebody, come on, somebody, come on, somebody. I want you to say this with me. No weapon faction against my life shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. <coughs> I want you to say this with me. You're not going to die before your time. The devil is alive. Whatever he has planned for you, it's not going to work. That's why you can shake the tree right now. Why? Because my roots are embedded in Christ. And because my roots are embedded in Christ, my branches are now very strong. It can stand the fire. It can stand the storm. It can stand the, 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 the naysayers. And every negative, every negative a pronunciation out of the mouths of those evildoers, of those naysayers, God is turning it around for your good. I want you to tell somebody, he's turning those words around back to sender. He's turning everything around in your life 360 degrees. So that you can have sufficient mama kata yarabosa. You can have stem in him. Stem, S-T-E-M. Roots. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Yes, the plan for you. <laughs> the plan for you, David. The plan for you, Joseph. Oh, Rabbi, so that's why you had to be called the Joseph in your family. That's why you had to go through the things that you had to go through. Don't you understand? You had to pay a price like Christ paid a price. You had to pay a price to suffer. He said, unless you suffer with me, you will not reign with me. Oh, yes, when you was on deathbed, they laughed at you. They told you it was dead. They thought it was going to bury you. Uh, uh, God turned it around and said, not so. It's not her time. She got a lot of work to do on this earth. Somebody began to praise God with me this morning. Somebody began to lift up the name of Yeshua. Somebody began to yell his name this morning. Because when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Now we see, we see the separation of the sheep and the goats. Uh-huh. That's the separation of the sheep sheep and the goats. You see, the sheep is very timid. The sheep is timid, so it has the ability to stay by itself at times. It doesn't mind. It's very timid animal, but the goat is so stupid. It wants to go everywhere. It wants to jump here, jump there, jump the other. It wants to be seen all over the place, so to speak. Now the Lord is doing a sifting. This is why they can't stop you right now. And they're wondering how come we've done everything we've done every voodoo in the world we've done every kind of uh, a ritualistic stuff in the world to this person how come she's still standing there's no power greater than the power of god i'm telling you there's no power greater than the power of god i'm standing because i am standing still on the power of the almighty god the most sovereign god our everlasting king the king of kings the lord of laws the i am that i am ancients of days uh, alpha and omega the very one that came in a human flesh to die for me on the cross and shed his blood for me that's who ah you can't stop me now the road that i've taken to walk with christ ah nothing can stop me because his hands is intertwined with my hands and we're walking this walk and we're talking this talk and we're going just where god wants us to go chosen vessels vessels of honors they want to be like you. That's right. They want to be. They want to be like you. Though they, they want. They want to have the charisma like you. But God did not give them that charisma. That charisma was given to you because God knew when you open your mouth, He will put the words in it, and you will obey Him, and you will speak boldly and authentically for Him, so that souls can come in. Souls can come. They can't stop us now. I'm sorry. The remnant that God is raising up, they can't stop us now. Oh, the fire that God has placed within us, they can't stop us now. The thing that God has placed in us. Spirit, that shall come the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Hey God, we give you honor and glory. Yes, you can't stop us now. Why? Because the glory, the glory, the authentic power of God that lives inside of me is the one that's carrying us each and every day of our life. You can't stop us now. Huh? Glory, hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> You may have tried. I was on this job. I'm going to tell you guys a quick testimony. 
was on this job and on this job for quite a while, really, for quite a while. And I said to myself, wow, this must be a waste of my time because the Lord have given me, why, Lord, why did you send me to college and get all these degrees? Why did you put all these things in me? I have so much potential. I want to do a work for you. I want to, I, at the same time, I want to be very, very productive in my own life, God. I want you to do something. And here I am sitting on a job for all these years. All these years, Satan had allowed me and, and allowed the folks over me to think that they were better than me. And here I am being so, oh, oh, thank you. Everything, yes, yes, yes. And I said to myself, one of the, one day when the Lord told me it's time for you to transition out of this place into your now place I said God you heard my prayer uh -huh, I'm going to transition out of this place into where you want me to be Jesus that's when I had to put on my thinking cap the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost said listen now listen now listen listen to me everybody let me drink the water a little bit Holy Ghost said, Holy Spirit said, no more will they use you like a tool. You are a child of the King. No more will they hinder your progress. The ones that you taught were your friends, even the ones that called themselves Christians, were sent from the demon, the devil, to destroy your life. But you carried what's inside of you that you are carrying is the power and the glory of my son Jesus Christ that's what held you up and you were consistent in your serving me and my son and this is why all that they try they try so many things to get you off guard to get you off point and it didn't happen why because my glory was protecting you I had a hash of protection around you who am I speaking to this evening God had a head of protection around you he had you covered that's why when he said move you should have moved Stay, stay, move, move, go, go. When the Holy Ghost speak, go. Don't even think about it twice. And, he, and, and I got out of there. When I got out of there, it didn't take me no time. God gave me a position of a director. Oh God, you shock me. I said, Father, you shock me. He said, yes, that's who you are. They're trying to handle your progress. They're trying to handle where you can go, but they can't do that. They're trying to handle everything in your life. They have set camps against you to hinder you from progressing in this life. But the devil is a lie. Tell somebody this evening, the devil is a lie. You will never handle my progress. Never again. Now that my life is in right standing, now that my life is in the hands of God, now that I'm in alignment with my father, you can handle, you can handle. I say you can handle my life anymore 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 you can't handle me anymore I love Jesus my servant God is not just serving him with my mouth my servant Yeshua is to come and let the world know that the God that we serve is powerful he's Powerful, he, he, he. That's why they call him El Shaddai. Yeah, that's why they call him Jehovah Nissi. Your enemies could not even understand you because you were progressing so much, just in not even having a title. Glory to God. But God uplifted you and elevated you right in the same place, right where they tried to destroy you. God said, "I will remove you because I'm getting ready to elevate you. Let them see who you are." So you don't understand the mighty God that has served. They can't stop us now. They can't stop us now. God has placed too much inside of you. There's no way they can stop you. Go forth. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying to somebody, go forth. It's time now. Pick it up. The roads are clear. Everything is clear. The momentum is there. You are very much ready now to take up what God the next level and the next uh, 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 places that God has for you to go it's clear I hear it in my ear I hear it in my soul so fast I hear it in my soul I hear the Yeshua voice you can go now cleared it's cleared I say it's cleared you can go now it's cleared there's no more hindrance, hindrances. There's no more anyone to stop you from pursuing what God has called you to pursue. It is clear now. 
It's clear. You can go whenever you want to go because now the world is cleared. No more hindrance. Ay, 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 ay. No more hindrance. Hold on, y'all. You know I'm driving. No more hindrance. The road is clear. You can go. You can fly as an eagle now, the way how you was created. Every fiber in your being is, is jumping up now because God has placed you on a different level. Don't entertain negative, negative people. Those friends that you had in your life, drop them. If I was you, I would delete them off my, I would block them. The people that cause you harm in your life. Hey, the ones that did you wrong and you didn't even do nothing to them. You didn't even do nothing to them, but they were able to castigate you on every level. God said, now you don't have to worry about that anymore because I'm coming for them. I'm coming for them. I'm coming for them. Yeah, God said, I'm coming for them. I'm coming for them now. And I will destroy every works of demonic forces. I will destroy them. I will destroy their works. I will destroy everything that they have. I will destroy it. Why? Because it's not that they, 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 they did you wrong. You didn't do anything to them. You didn't hurt them. You didn't do nothing to them. But they did you wrong. My fellow sisters and brothers, let me tell you something. Before you can, before God elevates you, you must go through the test. And when you go through the test, you must be able to pass the test. He will give you the security and everything you need for you to what? Pass the test. And when you pass the test, that's it. That's it, brother and sister. When you pass the test, you're done. That's it. You have nothing else to worry about. You pass the test. And when you pass the test, then God gets ready to elevate you. He gets ready to take you to that next dimension. Why? Because you passed the test. And when he gets ready now, to take you now to your next dimension every butterflies and chicken cannot every chicken cannot every chicken cannot sit on your wheel anymore they have to go now you hang with egos you fly as an eagle your your words are authentic now you don't have time for foolishness glory be to god almighty trust in the living god Yes, uh -huh. trust in the living God and, and, and bring yourself to a place where you know that he is the I am that I am, the agents of days. Can nobody do you like him? Listen, y'all, I got to go. God bless you this morning, this evening, this afternoon. I hope you receive the word that this time they cannot stop you. They cannot stop us. They can't do anything. We must go forth in Jesus' name. God bless you. You know who this is, Pastor Life as usual. Huh. Share the broadcast. God bless you.